What have you done? What have you done to me? You've come this far. You've stripped your enemy of his advantage. Why would you show mercy now? doesn't make sense. I, I don't understand. I was given. I was told. The gods. We are so little before them. So small. Retribution has come, and her sword is my sword. Ha! Ketherick Thorne would sooner die than lay down his rank cause. Isn't that right, General? I was a fool to hesitate. Power like mine cannot be hidden, cannot be cowed. But power like mine has a price. A price I am destined to pay. You have one last chance to bow. Once it's gone, I'll have no choice but to destroy you both. Do you hear? My lord beckons me. You must return to your prison, and my daughter must be reclaimed. Your daughter? Isabel. murmur the present we've found it the absolute
I... I have no desire to end your life, you know that. To end it? To struggle on? It is a grave choice you're making for us both. But if it must be so... Very well. I'll stand down. To stand by you. There we are. It wouldn't do to fight in front of our guest. Behold, Duke Gravenguard. The Absolute. Heaven preserve us. You wag your word, flap in vain, Ordaling. Once the worm holds the whip, your shredded flesh will serve us. Freeze at the sight. Your own father, Duke Ulder Ravenguard, seized by the Chosen. And for now, there's little you can do. Now, it's really time we were going. We will empty this place and begin the march. You may catch up with the army once you've retrieved the weapon. And Ketherick, do try not to sulk. You're supposed to be the fearsome general come to conquer the city. And I am the hero who will save it. It is time, faithful ones. March on Boulder's Gate. We go to prepare the way. Two steps at a time. There you are, as predicted. What is it, I wonder, that draws one toward death like a moth to light? You could have run away, absconded with the prism. The one thing that could prevent me from fulfilling my destiny. But the lure of one's destiny is irresistible, isn't it? Perhaps you hope to learn your place in history before you are erased from it. A bright flash of clarity before the snuffing out. Impossible. You are bound to it. And in death, it will bind you to me. That is the power my Lord Mirko has granted me. Command over the immeasurable legions of the dead. But he did not only give me power. He gave me the one thing no other god could grant me. My daughter's life returned. Her heart beating once more. For that... He asked that I serve as his chosen. Join Orin and Gortash to grow the cult of the Absolute, and then take control of it. He's never had a more devoted follower. I have fought great wars before, in the service of other gods and other powers. But for Merkel, I would condemn all of Faerun to death. You are all that stands between me and my destiny. And you have brought the prism here. I will kill you now. And then I will raise you as my servant. Perhaps. No. There is no repentance. 
No release. My debt can never be repaid. He is here. He is watching. He is listening. He is... Death cannot take me. I am its master. My lord, hear me. Nothing. I am forsaken. You. You. My sword, my fealty. Do what you must, then we fly this foul place. Dead for good. Wow, the chosen of Merkel. What a fight! Catherick's Netherstone. It's in his armor. Take it. death, the body is cooling, but energy radiates from the stone. Remarkable. Truly. And now the picture comes together. The Absolute is neither God nor man. It is the Elder Brain you saw, held here by those three against its will. The crown it wears controls it, and these stones control the crown. It has been dominated. To master an elder brain, to subdue it. Our enemy.
enemies are formidable. The crown's markings suggest it was forged in Netheril, an ancient empire whose mastery over magic rivaled that of the gods. It is a crown of domination. The stones were taken from its crest. They are nether stones, imbued with the ability to control the wearer of the crown. The crown's netherese magic must be the true source of the parasite's abilities. This must be what elevates their potential. And it must be the reason nobody could heal you. If the crown can do this to the parasite, I dare not imagine what it is doing to the brain. Netherese. These Chosen are powerful indeed to have such magic in their command. A temporary reprieve, but a welcome one. With a brain on its way to the city, its influence here is weakened. One of them I know, Lord Enver Gortash. An arms dealer and a slaver. A worshipper of Bane, the god of tyranny. The other is a mystery to me, but the way she spoke, it is most likely she follows Baal, god of murder. Ketherick was a follower of Merkel, which means the Absolute is a front for the gods of death, and our enemies are the Chosen of the Dead Three. The army of the Absolute is marching on Baldur's Gate. Within the city, an Elder Brain, Brimming with power, ready to turn everyone within its reach into mind players. All it needs is an order. An order the Death Gods Chosen are on the cusp of giving. We must wrest control of the brain from the Chosen before that happens. We must take their stones. Our chances of success are slim, but we must not fail. If we fail, everything ends. I will be your shield, but you must be the sword. And when the chance comes to strike, you must take it, for there may only be one chance. Murmur, the presence in your mind builds to a wall. We found it. The Absolute is behind this door. You said it was under control. It isn't you I answer to, Gortash. Oh, the general voice. Is this where we salute? Salute, yes. With cleavers through his blood-starved flesh. How it crawls with failure. Like flies on lick-wet carrion. You forget yourself, Orin. I've played my part. You've built an army for our masters, true enough, but what of the astral prison? A rogue, true soul, flaunting it under your nose all this time, and you ran from him. Sure that they would follow and deliver it into my hands here, if you would cease these distractions. The distractions have been yours, Ketherick. Perhaps we never should have dug your daughter up. So you haven't lost your edge, but you're still not as sharp as Orin, I wager. The Slayer against the Undying One. That'd be fun to see. His crypt breath sings to my sinews again, 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 again. But he must lead the murder march to Baldur's grave. If the weapon is truly in your grasp, Ketherick, might I suggest closing your fist? Orin and I can wait for you no longer. The plan proceeds. We're going to the city, and we expect you to follow. 
army and the weapon in tow. The Edict of Bane! The Lash of Bane! Testament of Merkel! An elder brain. One of the cruelest and most powerful creatures in existence. Enslaved by mere mortals. Look at that crown. It radiates with power unlike anything I've ever seen. To have it. To hold. Oh, if only I could. But I can't. This is it. I must do as Mistra commands. What choice do I have? More than just a goddess counts of my courage. Whole worlds hang in the balance. One last gust of weave. One last gale to end them all. No! Beneath the smoking ashes of Moonrise Towers, the Elder Brain lies destroyed. But what of the tadpoles it commanded? Freed of the Absolute's control, they will complete their transformations. A plague of elithids will soon descend on the Sword Coast, enslaving all they do not infect. It is an ending of sorts though not the one destiny had in store for you. <laughs> 